And welcome back to GTA 5 where we are doing the Shit. Bureau Raid. Like those breaks? Anyway, Bureau Raid, very straightforward. It's a shoot. It's one of those shootout mission type of things. It's not one of those things we could skip. Or at least no one's figured out anything yet. Anyway. Hey, what's cracking? What's here? Right there. So we really finna do this shit? We finna risk our lives to rob some motherfucking government killers again? Yep. Hey. hey. All right. Okay. So, let's sit up. Here's the plan. Uh, hey, Trevor. Yeah. I want you in this position up here. Okay, you're on lookout. Give me a heads up when the armored car comes by. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna be right here in the garbage truck blocking the roadway. Franklin, you're in the alley in a tow truck. Hope is they pull right up in front of you. When they do, you come at them hard. Bam. Shit, <laughs> here's hoping. Yeah, after the hit, we blast open the doors, grab up all the cash, bonds, whatever it is, I take it to Haynes guy. It's all a little hole for home. As long as I am not on the ground when the shit goes down. Okay. When the shit goes down, we'll handle it. You stay up here, on your post, eyes peeled. Yeah. Okay. We'll take the risk. Sound cool? Shit, true to professional, dog. And at least we're not wearing clown outfits. There's a plus. Right. The masks. What? <laughs> Let's see what we got here. Huh? Real professional. Looks pretty professional to me. Let's do this. Let's go, let's go. But yeah, like I was saying, this is a very straightforward mission. There's, there's nothing we could do to speed it up. Just be very consistent on the shots. And seeing as how we're doing this on partial aim assist, uh, it's going to be a little slower than I usually do it. But regardless, it should be relatively clean, right? The one thing I am hoping for is that we could get the rocket shot on the helicopter instantly. Without that shit even moving. If on our very first shot. Hopefully. We'll see how it goes, though. Anyway. All right, T. I'm in position. What's the ETA? I got a visual on the target. Should be with you any moment. Michael, you better get on your way. Note to self, right bumper is now the e-brake. Safe. Just stop in the road and stay there. All right, I pulled up. Get ready, Frank. Did Public Works change their schedule? You better brace yourselves, you motherfuckers. I'm pretty sure they heard you, Frank. And bang! All right, make it happen. Plant the sticky bomb. I'm doing it. And a little bit of that. Everyone out! Let's go! I love how they just relocate Franklin. Light his face up so he's unrecognizable, because why not? And did you guys know, when you throw grenades at these cop cars that's coming up, they don't blow up for some reason. So that exercise we got... See that? The cars just don't blow up? Hold your nerve. Wow. Shooting is very, very rough. All over the place. What? We didn't kill enough people? Wow. And then all of a sudden, it's just like 
20 of these bastards back here. Just got treated a little differently, right? Keep shooting. Leave them to me, all right? LSPD sniper team on the roof opposite you, just to the right. You gotta take them out, T. Didn't even need to switch to them, I don't think. I got the first shooter. Snipers are gone. We're clear. This shot is the one I was One's talking down. about. Get him. Oh my god, I feel it. I was so close. Like I said, man, I'm gonna be a little bit slow. This it should still be nighttime right now. I'm 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 definitely not used to like these time of days being different for these missions, man. It's throwing me off so bad, actually. It's supposed to be just completely nighttime right now. And we just stop it right here, get out, drop the nade, and we get in our vehicle, and we're out of here. I mean, I guess I'll let this phone call go through. Usually, I just hang it up for the instant trigger for the next part of the drive. Everything cool? Yeah, man, shit, that trash truck is trash, dog. You good? Nice work. I'm about to meet this guy. I'll tell you how it goes. A little waste of time for the dialogue. Whatever, right? Nothing we could do there. I wonder which way we're going to be coming from. Still the same. So, there's some instances where... You go to this target destination heading the other direction. So you're like down the road more and you're heading in the opposite direction or whatever, but it's very rare. It's never actually happened to me. It's happened to other people. So kind of it's like an urban legend to me because it, it's kind of hard to believe it hasn't happened to me yet. You know, it's just weird. Got a package for Devin Weston. Package for Mr. Weston? Yeah, and I'm telling you that I don't give a flying fuck. <laughs> there you go, there you go. Boom, so long, motherfucker. Devin Weston. Yeah, I remember you. The weekend interrogator. Invest wisely. Hey, hey, hold on, hold on. We're not done here yet. I got a job for you, bro. Five top quality scores, big ticket cars, major payday, bro. Sounds great. I got just the guy for you. I'll put you in touch. No, 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 I don't want just some dude. I want you. I want your crew. I want pros on this. Yeah, I don't give a fuck what you want, pencil neck. <laughs> I'll let them know you're interested. I guess I just got you figured wrong, man. Hey, what's the figure? Tell me something. You like football? I got a stake in a sports investment venture. You like the market? I got some funds you can manage. Name your poison, man. I just like sitting around watching old movies. Oh, there we go. How about I hook you up? With Solomon Richards. Bullshit. Solomon Richards, the movie producer? Yeah, he's retiring, man, and I'm doing a finance deal for his studio. I will make the connect just as soon as you. <sighs> All right. Oh, man. Solomon Richards. Solomon Richards? So excited. We're actually going to do the next mission Have as a well. Good one, boys. I mean, there's a good chance this mission's gonna run long, actually. Run long as in over 25 minutes, I think this is gonna run now. If we do this mission with the cutscenes, I'm pretty sure. We'll see. Hey, what up, Michael? Hey, man. Listen, I got an interesting opportunity for you. An acquaintance of Dave's. An FIB contact? Are you joking? Relax. The guy's private sector. Very well. Could be lucrative. Why don't you meet him and see what you think? 
Alright, uh, right, yeah, yeah, I'll think about it. Alright, me and Trevor will be there too. I promise you. It's a step up for you. A real opportunity. And switch. The switch takes pretty long on um these new consoles. I don't know what it would be like on a solid state drive, but as of right now, all these switches take a lot longer than they should in my opinion. But anyway. And one of these days I gotta get Off to the D. So I know a lot of you guys have been wanting to see the stuff in first person view, right? But I have explained it before, first person view makes me sick, so I will not be playing in that view. Cannot do it. So to pretty much compensate for that, I'm just trying to show you guys above average gameplay, right? To make up for it, kind of. And here we are. Instant breaks. Hello. What? He doesn't say it anymore? Hello. Oh, there it is. Slick. Oh, you must be Michael's boy. Oh, man. Sometimes enlightenment, it can be a real bitch. Ah, good to meet you. Yeah, likewise, homie. We hear you're a competent repo guy, yes? Yes, it's kind of like a little hobby of mine. Requisitioning the underappreciated... Possessions of my contemporaries for some wealthy communists in China who will value them much more. <laughs> what? Robbing my so-called <laughs> friends, Slick. Why? Why? Because they have things nobody else has, because they can afford it, because frankly, I'm rich enough to do whatever the fuck I want, and you're poor enough not to ask me any goddamn stupid questions. Now, I mean that as a friend. Namaste. That's a nice fucking speech about the value of friendship. Oh, of course you must be the creepy one. Not coming from you, please. Mmm, what's going on? You're gonna dress up as traffic cops, and you're gonna rob two trust fund kids that I know and dislike intensely. Uh, why? We can get a good price for the vehicles in Asia. Look, complete the work, you'll all be well paid. You're late, sugar tits. Yep. So what's going on? Oh, oh you... Finally get to realize your childhood dream and dress up as a cop. Mr. Weston's <laughs> research team suggests the two boys like to ride on the Sonora Freeway. Sounds manageable. Hey, you two get going. Ooh, let's go, T. Dog, I don't know if this shit is for me, homie. My life's already way the fuck out of control. All right, look. I'm a Darwinist brother, all right? Some prosper and some struggle. Now, are you out of your goddamn mind? This is your lucky break. Choose! Now, are you gonna do this, or have you simply found your level in life? I guess we'll find out. Yeah, I guess we will, homie. I guess we will, homie. Anyway, this is a very straightforward mission as well. There's minor routes to make things a little faster. The first one being here, we skip a little bit of the drive, right? Just by getting on a highway like that. But yeah, there's minor time save on the way there. But for the rest, for the most part, the rest of this mission is just very consistent driving. And just being very, very fast in the driving, I guess. This music needs to go off. We can't get hit with any copyright thing, 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 things. And the second minor shortcut would be here. But they're making it a little difficult for me right now. And there it is. It would have sucked if we had to stay on the oncoming lane or traffic side. Hey, Frank. Hey, I'm nearly with these dudes, man. You guys comfortable on your end? Yeah, I guess. We look pretty ridiculous. <laughs> All right, man. Look, I'll see you soon. Yeah. We'll pick you up coming through Grape Seed. Get the drivers there. Get them going at speed. Are we even going to get this? And safe. I 
I'm telling you, 2.7 millimeters. Hey, how about we see which one of you two is for real? So get in your cars and let's see if they move as fast as your mouth. Ooh, the fool wants to race us. We were just getting out of here anyway. All right. You don't want to race me. My name's Franklin. I got the Franklin vision. So, like I said on this, very straightforward mission. Just gotta be consistent. There is actually, there is another route going back that's technically faster on paper, right? Meaning the route looks uh, shorter on the map. But because of a certain part of that route, it makes the drive pretty ridiculous to be like perfect on. And that's where you lose time. And then that's where the original GPS route becomes faster. Only if there was like certain factors. For an example, like it wasn't so mountainous, the route that we were driving, then we could take a massive shortcut. It's little things like that. Too fast, too furious. Wonder how fast they're actually going. Hey, we coming up now, man. Beat it in a few seconds. Got it. Whatever. Here they come. Well, I'll tell you about that later. Wait, how long did I say this miss, uh, this part was going to run? If we did this mission with the cutscenes, 25, 26 minutes? I want to see if I'm right about that. I want to see if we're keeping on pace. This one's on the wrong side of the road. I'll stay on him. Now come if you can handle it. Because, like, obviously I know how long certain missions are, right? Or most of the missions, for that matter. But I don't know how long these cutscenes are for each given mission. Played through the game many, many a times. The cutscenes I've only seen like, I think this is like my fourth time now, going through the cutscenes. So <laughs> there's that. Stay with them. Actually, no, I think it's my fifth. Because I did two cutscene percents, and then there was my first initial run. Then there's this. That's four, right? Oh, maybe it is four. How you do it, T? Yeah, we gotta that. hang in there. There you go. I've only seen the cutscenes a handful of times. Let's do this! Let's get them! As long as we can keep with them, we'll pull this off. They're driving into Polito Bay. Traffic might slow them down. Ooh, when I catch these assholes! Holy shit. I, I don't even know what I was looking at just now. Frank's still on him. The dickheads probably want him to stop and take the heat. And we gotta stick with them. They gotta stop sometime. We're coming back for you, Mike. I remember when I first played this mission, I was like, this is such a good mission. But now I'm just like, this is such a good. tedious mission. My ass is dead. What do you guys think of this mission? Leave it in the comments, actually. Now I'm kind of curious. And here we are. Okay. 
Whoa, hey, stay in the car there, homeboy. I'll deal with you later. Yeah, fuck you too. You know how fast you were going? Gee, I don't know, officer. I uh, try to keep it under the limit. Well, you and your boys look like you were drag racing from where we were sitting there, so uh, why don't you get yourself out of the car? Come on. Officer. Officer. Is this officer. Entirely necessary? Yes, it is. Get on. Come on. Hands on the car. Let's go. Come on. Get out of the fucking car. Hey. Hey, hey, hey. What are you doing? Fucking car. All right, we got to make sure. Get out of the fucking car, you pint sized prick. <laughs> you, you little shit. Get the fuck out of here. Go on. So, this drive you want to do with Franklin. Obviously, Mike and Trevor have the faster vehicles, but with Franklin special, it's overall just faster and better and overall just smoother, Hello? you know? Hey, you that lady? The intense dude's assistant, right? Assistant? This is Molly Schultz, Senior Vice President and General Counsel for Devon Weston Holdings. I need to tell Devon we got them calls. Mr. Weston will not discuss matters like this with you on the phone. I'll be your port of call for business concerns. Well, shit, me and your boss ain't gonna have any personal concerns. Bring the cars to Hayes Auto on Little Bighorn in South Los Santos. Mr. Weston and I will meet you there. Sounds Man, good. Driving so slow, stand with these fools. Can we have a real race? So Devin's lawyer says we gotta take them to Hayes Autos in South LA. I'm gonna be there well ahead of you. Asshole. Well, I ain't waiting around, man. Let's go, but uh, don't mess up the cars, you hear me? Wonder how far back they are exactly right now. Wonder what's like the max limit or max distance you could possibly be from them. Because I know like once you get too far, they start glitching out in places and like catching up automatically like that, or at least for certain missions. Hey, Frank. Yeah. What I tell you, bro? These cars, <laughs> this is an opportunity. Yeah, if you say so. You know what, right before I met you, I was boosting rides and racing. It feels like it come full circle to me. Come on! Nah, I'm serious. If you hadn't got me fired from my repo job, this is exactly the kind of shit I be doing. So thanks, dawg. After all the crap we have been through, man, you got me right back where I be at anyway. <laughs> hey, you dudes are in the stolen ride. You ain't got no excuses for being way back there. Hey, don't get too comfortable out front. I never heard that line of dialogue before. Always burns up before the end. At least I'm pretty sure I never heard that line of dialogue before. So this is where the consistency in driving really matters, I guess. Is just weaving through these little traffic things and actually deactivating the specials. I don't know if you guys know, man. Wants me to boost cars. And most likely when you're in special, you actually do work. worse. You don't sound that different, to be honest. Uh, you must know who this guy is. Look him up. He's the real deal. I've seen his house. He can make things happen. So, he like to you what you were to me. I see your house. I think this dude can take me places. Oh, shit. Maybe. Something like that. There's that. See, that is the importance of Franklin's special deactivating properly. That maneuverability that you get. God damn it. I thought we was about to get crushed there. Oh, look at that. 25, 26 minutes it's going to be in between, Gentlemen, depending how long the scene is. All. Oh, God, this is going to be fantastic. One kid and two old creeps. Who the fuck would have thought it? Gentlemen, move the vehicles. Hey, give me five, five, and five. Oh, hey, <laughs> just kiss, homie. Boom. Dog, come on, man. You got the fucking paper? Absolutely. Look, you finish the job, you get the paper. But... The order was for five cars. If I'm not mistaken, that's only two. Just give me the fucking money now. Oh, I'm so scared. I really, really am. But you know what? I'm a payment on completion, a work type of guy. You don't like the job? Take a fucking walk. Like, come on, man. Hold on. 
So what's next, man? Well, it's the Z-type. Chad Mulligan. Lay it on him, kid. Mulligan's a record producer. He's going through a messy divorce. He's hiding his valuable assets, including the car, so that makes it complicated. He'll clock any ground surveillance we run. All we've got to go on is that the car's in a lockup in Howick. So we just go house to house? Not quite. We have Frank, access to an LSPD helicopter. The computer on board can ID pedestrians from a chip in their driver's license. Find Mulligan and Howick, follow him to the lockup, someone on the ground collects the car. All right, so who does what? You're not needed for this job. Phillips, you're in the chopper, Clinton, you're on the ground. Yeah, I don't understand the deal between you two. Yeah, well, I don't understand the deal between you two either. But you know what? Life! It's just one long mystery. Bye-bye, gentlemen, and stay spiritual. Oh, and Michael, I'll be in touch about your friend, Solomon. All right, good. Look at that, we pretty much called it on point, I feel like, right? Pretty much 26 minutes. Anyway, that is going to be the end of this part, guys. Give the video some likes, add it to your favorite, share it. Let me know what you guys think of uh, that mission where we're doing that drive or whatever. And I'll see you guys for the next part. Don't act like a tough guy.